Good evening, I'm Jody Applegate. Now your picks 11 at 10. First up, another local airport, another TSA embarrassment, and agents in handcuffs. Right now, Peter Thorne is at JFK. Peter? Embarrassing, you got that right. Watch your bags, air travelers. It has happened again. Last night, it was Newark International Airport making news. Tonight, the story of thieving TSA agents has shifted location to right here, JFK. What? Not again. Oh, yeah, again. TSA agents accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars from airline passengers' check baggage, but this time at JFK. So far, $39,980 has been recovered. 44-year-old Persad Kumar from Jackson Heights and 30-year-old Devon Webb from the Bronx are the suspects. They've worked at the TSA a combined 16 years. Well, one thing you have to understand is that the security system is only as good as the screeners. According to the complaint, it all went down January 30th around 7.25 p.m. inside Building 56 at JFK near American Airlines. The scheme unraveled when another transportation security Security Administration employee notified his supervisor who called in the Port Authority police. It's alleged that one of the defendants uh, spotted the money when the bag came through the uh, x-ray machine. Just yesterday, a former TSA supervisor at Newark International Airport pleaded guilty to stealing tens of thousands of dollars from passengers passing through his screening location. I reached out to the TSA tonight and a spokesperson told me this, quote, TSA has a zero tolerance policy for theft in the workplace. The disgraceful actions of a few should not reflect negatively on the approximately 50,000 TSA officers around the country who work each day to keep the traveling public safe. Let me tell you, we're much, much better off today with TSA running the air, uh, airport security than we were on 9-11. As for these guys, they could face up to seven years in prison if convicted. Tonight, sources tell me that the TSA, as part of its zero tolerance program, is already beginning the process of terminating both of these TSA agents. Reporting live tonight from JFK, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News. Right now, let's get over to Mike Sheehan. He is in Newburgh with an indictment.